So young Malik is now sedated and fully under. He's been brought into the OR and now begins the process of this highly complex craniofacial surgery. It will last many hours. Um, so, so Malik is a 14-month-old boy who has uh, sagittal synostosis. And this is not an unusual condition that we see. Uh, and because of the fact that the suture's fused, the head's grown in a very abnormal way. It's very pointed at the back, very prominent in the front, and very narrow. So what we want to do is we'd like to reshape the skull. So the reason we're doing this is to make space for the brain, because the brain may be a little bit tight, but also um, to make his head more balanced, because he stands out in the crowd. Anybody looking at him can see that his head is a very unusual shape. This can have a huge psychosocial impact on a child's well-being as they get older. So doing it at this age, you'll have no memory of what's happened to him when he's four or five years of age, which is really the first time that children start to notice other children and notice differences between them. So that's the plan for today. And I guess that, that what you're doing also is providing enough room for the brain to grow normally. Exactly. It, it, it's kind of like pushing against the back of the skull right Ex now. Exactly. The brain is a very abnormal shape. And the idea of this operation is to make room for the brain as well as improving the head shape. So it has a, 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 double, a double win in a situation like that. Well, I think we're very fortunate having the Herbie Fund at the Hospital for Sick Children. It really is a, a, a huge opportunity for children around the world to come and get treatment at a, a very high level with experienced teams uh, that can manage these complicated situations in ways that they would never have access to back where they came from. The series called The Herbie Fund, A World of Difference, will go to air this December on City News and at citynews.ca.